chose it is because it fits into what we're doing here today and the rest of the PD days. And you know, as teachers, we're not, or at least I'm not very original. I like to borrow things and steal things from other teachers. And so that's sort of the point of this lesson on the founding documents. And you can see this is a paper copy. And so uh, what I intend to do is scan it tomorrow. And we'll have a scanner here so you can do that if you have paper copies of your lesson. And we can put it on the web page for everybody to have. But the first page is basically uh, what I typed into the uh, Google Doc form. And then <clears throat> we have a, a handout here that lists four of our founding, <coughs> uh, four documents that relate to our founding documents. You know, with our, with our founding fathers, they didn't come up with all these great ideas on their own. You know, uh, we think... You know, where the kids think, well, separation of powers, checks and balances, that was all American ideas. That was all us. And it's really not. We borrowed those ideas from other people. Just as we're doing in this activity today, we're borrowing things from other, other teachers. Well, you pass out the founding documents treasure hunt. It has 25 gems, as I call it. You know, that sort of gets the kids excited. They still like juvenile things and high school even. So there's 25 basic ideas that we find in the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution that we borrowed from some other form. Uh, the Magna Carta, the Mayflower Compact, the English Bill of Rights, Articles of Confederation. Then you have copies of each of these documents and you'll make copies of those for your classroom and you can pair up the kids and let them do a search to see if they can find where these basic ideas came from. And they go through and they find all those and they fill in the blank. And I've attached a key here for you to use too. So it's a fun thing and if you're stressed, if you're stretched for time, you can say, okay, the first pair to finish gets a prize. You know, you can speed them up that way. But it's fun, it gets them to think a little bit about, you know, we all borrow things from other people, other cultures, and same way with American history. I use this in civics, but you could easily use it in U.S. or world even. Any questions? <coughs>